And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick, okay? Okay, I'll be right back and let's get into something else. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to the Tea Print. It's your girl, Ebony. All right, you guys, we have two topics that I want to get into for this video. The first topic being none other than Cardi B unloading on a fan at Wireless after they tried to snatch her wig, allegedly, and also Nicki Minaj making history yet again. So before we get into the queen doing queen things, let's talk about Wireless Fest. Now, Cardi B did perform during her set last night and let's talk a little bit about the performance right so the outfit that cardi b wore on stage in my personal opinion was a good outfit now she didn't snatch the wig off herself and perform in any corn rolls but she was definitely giving a show and to be honest cardi b didn't do a bad job i think she did okay with that being said y'all know cardi b can't step out or step up without getting into some mess allegedly in my opinion now cardi b was feeling like a rock star and so she was inside the crowd you know she was bobbing and weaving you know basically enjoying her fans until one tried to grab her hair or grab something on her and cardi b decided to give them a few lumps and bump bumps allegedly check this out <laughs> As you see, Cardi B was not having nobody snatch nothing from her. Now, from different angles, you guys, it looks like it could be them, you know, grabbing the mic, maybe because they wanted to sing. A lot of times, fans believe that, you know, everybody is a performer like Beyonce. Y'all know that sometimes, Beyonce will walk down there and get somebody a mic, and so the fans were probably just super, super excited. But with that being said, I hope that person is okay, because the the way she was wailing on that person with the mic looked like the person got a few bumps allegedly now people including cardi b are reacting to this on social media and let's just say it's a whole key key cardi b saying this it wasn't no fight don't believe everything you hear a fan saying this cardi b hit that unhinged fan because she grabbed her hair I have video proof of it and we saw the clip you guys so you know everybody has a right to defend themselves but I do question sometimes you know Cardi puts herself in these positions and you got to be careful as a celebrity because you don't want people to be too close to you you really don't know what people be thinking what people ready to do it's just such a weird weird spot to be in but child she was a knocking knock 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 she was like who's there it was a hot mess allegedly now the next topic i do want to discuss you guys is actually kind of sad but i don't even know if this is really what people are trying to make it out to be but it's none other than our beautiful billionaire rihanna actually chaperoning asap rocky to all his events while he's in germany now there are several videos that surfaced online showing asap rocky basically performing in germany and guess who's watching him in the corner in all black like a hawk miss rihanna chill rihanna was pretty much just sitting there like she was a chaperone you know it made me question if some of those allegations could be a little bit true you know that asap rocky has stepped out of his relationship with that being said i also think it's very unfortunate that rihanna you know if she is chaperoning him feels the need to do this on the other hand it could just mean she don't want to be in the club right now he drug her 
along. So she gonna sit in the corner, chill, let him do his thing, and then they'll go home when they go home. So it doesn't necessarily mean that she's trying to keep tabs or that he did step out on her, but people are feeling like this is her way of saying, you're not gonna do it again because I'm always gonna be by your side. Chow, what in the thin line between love and hate is this allegedly? Chow, a mess. Now, the final topic is none other than the queen Nicki Minaj making history yet again on Spotify. And to be quite honest, you guys, she is performing today at Wireless, but Nicki still doesn't have an album out and she is still breaking records. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Now, according to chart data, Nicki Minaj did become the first female rapper in history to surpass 26 billion streams. Now, this is a great milestone for Nicki Minaj. Um, you guys know. Nikki has been, like I say all the time, in this game for a very long time. And to see that she is still breaking records, it's just great for her. Now, as I was working on this video, you guys, it does seem that Nicki Minaj not only posted a video telling bad bees how to touch down in the UK, but my sis also kind of confirmed my tea about this whole pregnancy allegedly debacle. And I told y'all that Nicki Minaj loves to troll us and I think I could be right. So let's start off with the pictures that Nikki posted. She looked absolutely gorgeous in the UK. Can we talk about the face card and can we also talk about the body and can we talk about the skin? I swear to you guys Nicki Minaj looked like a new pack of caramel candies, like a new cup of butterscotch. She looked like she was nothing but edible, okay? She looked amazing, hair was cute. On top of that when she got to the plane she decided to remind us of her infamous challenge on how to fly to Prague but instead she wanted to let us know this is how you touch down in the UK. So as you see, Nicki Minaj was in good spirits. Now after this happened, Nicki Minaj actually took to her IG live and child, when I tell you guys she was doing nothing but trolling, check this out. Somebody said, I literally can't hear you. Um, I know I was not talking and I was, I, I muted myself. Um, what is your favorite Nicki Minaj pop song? Yeah. Um, I got five seconds. It is, it's 1.39 a.m. and in London, y'all. And, um, oh man, yikes. You guys are having a party in London? Where? It's called Pink Night. And shout out to all of the, um, Bobs that have been throwing parties. That is, that's like so dope. I can't wait to come. I don't ever get invited. Do I feel people need to be more humble? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, yes. So, have you ever bit the inside of your mouth? Oh, thank you, Sky. Um, she said she liked this filter better. Y'all, have y'all ever bit the inside of your mouth? I guess I never, I don't know, I never felt this before. But, we ain't doing no daggone Marilyn Monroe chat. Um, I 
So, yes, I do think people should be more humble. Mm -hmm. I think people should not really just humble, grateful. 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 I like that better. Gratitude. Um... Oh, masquerade? Nah. You know that ain't happening. You know that ain't happening. When am I performing? Uh, tomorrow in London. London town. London town. Um, can we get a vlog? You miss my underground music. Um, Mama, I, I I put out underground. I recently put out underground music, if you mean urban. Um, so, yeah. Pound the alarm? Okay, got you. Um, so y'all, how many people is going to be at wireless? T uh, how many people is going to be at wireless? I don't even know. Hi, JT. Oh, JT, are you in London? Am I pregnant? Oh, oh, have I sold out? Oh, I didn't mean to tweet this. I'm not fat, y'all. I'm pregnant. <laughs> For all the congratulatory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god why y'all zoom me that why y'all zoom me like that zoom zoom that um uh, milan get off my my live over there fighting mm -mm. y'all got to stop shit Okay, y'all, can everybody, can, <laughs> I did, can, Tay, what is you texting me for? If you want to speak to me, Tay, comment on my live, like, on my other friends. Guys, I want to know what song you guys want me to perform tomorrow. And I want to know how many people is going to be at Wireless Festival tomorrow. That's the only thing I want y'all to tell me. Because it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's time to go. Bye, bye. Night, night. Okay. <laughs> Don't so bad. Hey, guys. I don't know if that was the real Miami space, but I think it might have been. Hey, if that is, I don't know. Maybe troll and chat. Okay, guys, super basing green. How many times is Joe going? Oh, hey, hey, Joe. Oh, that's why y'all all up. It's like five o'clock over there. And. It's almost two o'clock in the morning over here. So someone said, "Good form, hard white." The night is still young. <gasps> oh shoot! Crocodile Tees remix. Oh shoot! I forgot we took out hard. How could we have taken out hard white? When again, good form. Oh, that's a lot of stuff y'all asking for, child. Y'all gonna have to, y'all gonna have to pay a, a, a extra cover charge, yeah. Bitch ain't gonna be up there for two hours now. Bitch might be up there for two minutes. Two minutes. You did. But, um. Okay, let me think, y'all. 
let me think but i want to say i love you very much i've been seeing you guys going to the parties i saw the philly party joe sent me all the stuff that y'all did shanghai jt go sit <laughs> Jay-Z. Am I performing no Shanghai? Girl. Faces. Listen. So, yes. And I will see I will see JT tomorrow, JT. And we gonna be doing... We, we, we performing our new song, y'all. Yeah, we performing our new song. Y'all gonna watch it? It go. This is how my verse call. It go. A boom, 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 boom. I came in the room. Boom, don't assume. I don't wear fruit of a looms, but I always be in the mood. I say, hey, everybody say hi to me. I am NIC. <laughs> Gonna say all the time, lying. Um, I D key, I D C Pluto, bitch. I done answered that question. Okay, don't ask me again. You heard me. Don't ask me again. Heard. Okay, well, J T, I'll think about it for you, boo. Um, I see y'all didn't, y'all didn't, uh, answer the questions, but it's okay. God bless you guys. I love you very much. I didn't have a lot of time. I just wanted to say hi. Wait, hold on. Let me do something. See, Nikki is going back and forth. On one hand, Nikki is saying, oh, I'm pregnant or trying to hint it. But at the other side, Nikki said, no, I'm just fat. I'm not pregnant. And she enjoys trolling us, you guys. I told y'all this in my last video because she's very playful. And we love when she does this because it keeps us entertained, excited. And let's be clear, Nicki Minaj is always a fun time. So from this Instagram live, I want to hear from you guys. Do you think that Nicki Minaj is actually pregnant? Or do you believe that she's trolling us and having fun with our emotions? I look forward to reading your messages. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys to the moon and back and we'll chop it up very soon. Bye.